Hi, this video has been prepared to reveal to you what Holochain is, which is eating everyone with its popularity. Holochain is a project that many believe will change the way we think about distributed ledger technology. As a result, interest in HOT is at its peak. In this video, we take an in-depth look at HOT token options and their potential for long-term adoption. We'll also leave you with a link to buy this cryptocurrency below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. So, here we go. Typically, blockchain projects are designed to be decentralized. However, the Holo network has chosen a different path, creating a distributed network. In essence, it's a minor difference related to reducing congestion and shedding. Co-founders Eric Harris Braun and Arthur Brock believed that they had developed a next-generation enterprise-level platform that could not be recognized as blockchain, so they called it Holochain. When it comes to potentials, the platform is limitless. What's more, it contains dApps and is designed to serve modern cloud IT infrastructure. Holochain operates as a technical framework and an aspect of a border ecosystem that also includes the Holochain token along with a Holo platform to host Holochain blockchain applications in the cloud. In addition to the open source platform, Holochain's roadmap aims to develop a more accessible ecosystem for both developers and end users. Holochain provides development of dApps on more common platforms such as Lisp and JavaScript offering compatibility with system using HTML and CSS. The core of this platform is written in Go, which is considered similar to C but less complex. In the future, developers aim to make this platform more flexible by extending new languages to accelerate growth. Holochain is a well-known distributed computing network that can run faster than blockchain technology. The platform claims to support infinite scalability through P2P or peer-to-peer -peer networks. Holochain is positioned as an alternative to blockchain, providing developers with a framework for creating decentralized applications. One huge change enabling this is the shift from data-dependent blockchain to an agent-driven system. The Holochain method avoids global consensus by using an agent-based system in which each agent stores a private fork that is stored and managed in a limited way in a blockchain with a distributed hash table. This avoids the scalability issues that lacked blockchain solutions. It also allows any dApps hosted on Holochain to do much more with fewer resources than blockchain require. Traditional blockchain works by storing data using cryptographic hashes in a distributed network. Each node in this network maintains a full copy of the blockchain and a global consensus to verify the network and maintain its integrity. This is one of the features of blockchain technology that is a strength of the new technology. Blockchain methodology has disadvantages. One reason blockchain developers are concerned is the scalability problems that arise from the fact that every node in the network must check the entire network. As the amount of data in the blockchain increases, it becomes more and more limited to the throughput of transactions in the blockchain. This is why some cryptocurrencies have experienced such long transaction times and such high network fees. The name came about because the system used by Holochain resembles the construction of a hologram. In a hologram, the coherent three-dimensional pattern is created by a certain interaction of light beams, and in Holochain, the system similarly creates a coherent whole by combining individual components into a coherent whole. In addition, the technology uses coherent patterns as part of its functionality. The Holochain system eliminates scalability issues because it does not require each node or agent in the network to maintain a continuously updated record of the entire public blockchain. Instead, each node stores its blockchain, which interacts with the node's unique cryptographic key. Think of the entire public blockchain as a river, and each node is like a smaller stream that flows into the river. Every node goes offline, it creates a branch of the public chain but the public chain continues to move forward without being affected by the loss of one of its nodes. 
By now, everyone knows how much power proof-of-work blockchain like Bitcoin requires. Holochain claims to be a green solution to environmentally destructive blockchains, because nodes in Holochain do not store and verify the entire blockchain, only a small percentage of bandwidth is used compared to traditional blockchains. Moreover, Holochain has no mining competence, so the electricity consumed is minimal, in fact, no more than would be used by host computers in their normal operations. Since the electricity requirement for POW blockchains are steadily increasing, this environmentally friendly approach seems much better. The question of how many transactions per second Holochain can handle needs to be viewed differently than how we look at scalability in traditional blockchains. The quick answer to the question is that Holochain scalability is not limited. This is somewhat simplistic. And frankly, the idea of transactions per second does not apply to Holochain because of its intrinsic nature. Instead of maintaining a global consensus of data on the blockchain, Holochain uses a distributed hash table to keep records of the important type and validity of data that each node provides. So, Holochain as an application framework places no limit on the number of transactions per second because there is no place where all transactions have to take place, the developers wrote. Holochain would work very well for any dApps that require a lot of separate inputs where each person has access to a limited copy of all the inputs. The immediate use case for Holochain in social networking platforms, but they have also suggested that Holochain would work well on peer-to-peer -peer platforms, supply chain management, reputation cryptocurrencies, or loyalty programs, collective intelligence projects, and more. These projects are a good fit for Holochain because it is agent-centric. You can also view a comprehensive overview of the types of applications you can develop on the Holohackers map. However, Holochain will not work with any type of private or anonymous data set because each node publishes a shared distributed hash table. Holochain is also not suitable for any applications that host large files or for running data-centric dApps as most cryptocurrencies do. The version adopted by Holograph postulates that there is no absolute truth in the public blockchain but only an individual perspective held by each node which can be combined to form a bigger picture. This has been compared to the vision of relativity theory in the blockchain. Holochain was written in Go, and this particular programming language was chosen because of its similarity to C and ease of use. The code base is fully open and can be explored on Holochain GitHub. Developers are free to use both Lisp and JavaScript when developing dApps for Holochain and there is support for interface languages such as CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Holochain developers have said that Holochain is flexible in terms of handling new languages, so there is a good chance that support for additional languages will be added in the future. The developers of Holochain have a wealth of experience. Both co-founders have 34 years of programming experience. Arthur Brock, Holochain's chief architect, has worked as a contract cutter since 1984, worked with AI systems, and designed alternative currency systems online since 2001. Rounding out the team are 12 other developers, UX and UI experts, and software engineers. The main developers are David Meister, an Australian software architect with more than a decade of experience, and Nicholas Locke, a German software architect who also has more than a decade of experience developing elegant software solutions. Perhaps because the community is still waiting for the release of the Holochain Core Network. Community acceptance and activity is not quite what you see in some of the other projects. The subreddit for Holochain has just under 7,000 subscribers, but messages are only received every few days on average, and many of the most recent messages have no replies or comments. The development team remains active on Reddit, however, with AMA and research from various team members, community leaders, and platform features. Twitter is another popular social platform in the cryptocurrency world, and Holochain is active there and has almost 30,000 followers. 
They tweet regularly and most tweets get about 100 likes and 20-30 retweets. The Telegram channel from Holochain is pretty big, with only over 12,500 members, and the Holochain Facebook page has over 5,000 liked it. There is also a Holochain forum, but it doesn't seem particularly busy, only two one post per day. Holochain completed a month-long ICO on the 28th of April 2018, during which they raised just over 30,000 ETH for about $20 million at the time. As of the 21st of October 2019, the hot token is trading at 0 0.0009 and has a market capitalization of over $150 million. Immediately after the ICO, the token traded as high as $0.02, which yielded a gain of more than 1,000% in a week. The price quickly declined over the next two months and by July 2018 was trading below 0 0.0005. The HOT token is an ERC-20 token that can be stored in any ERC-20 compatible wallet such as MetaMask, my other wallet, or one of the hardware wallets. Eventually, ERC-20 tokens can be exchanged for HoloFuel. This exchange will become available once the Holo Core network launches. Instead of HOT tokens being burned after the exchange, they will be stored in a backup account to keep the network stable. There are no plans yet as to when HOT will be completely removed. There are also no no definite plans for Hall of Fuel to be listed on exchanges, although the team understands that this conversation needs to happen. When it comes to markets for HOT, it is listed on several exchanges. These include the likes of Coinex, Binance, MXC and others. The volume seems to be fairly well distributed, although Coinex has over 30% of it. As for liquidity on individual exchanges, it seems to be quite high. For example, if we were to look at the Binance USDT or hot order book, it seems pretty deep. There is also a fairly reasonable daily turnover. In addition to that, Binance Exchange also trades BTC and ETH crosses with HOT. So that means you can place orders for large blocks without too much slippage. Holofuel is Holochain's planned proprietary cryptocurrency, which will be a mutual credit currency and will be backed by real assets. The Holochain team calls it a negotiated service obligation because it can be earned and exchanged for hosting on the Holochain platform. It's primarily used by Holochain app providers to pay their Holo host for their services. The Holochain team believes that Holofuel is different from many existing cryptocurrencies for three main reasons. Mutual credit. Unlike other cryptocurrencies, which are mostly used for speculation, Holofuel is not tokens created from nothing. It's a double-entry crypto accounting system that provides scalability, transparency, and accountability. Asset Assurance Holofuel relies on the computing power of hosts around the world. Stability of value. Holofuel's value is tied to the computing capacity of the host network. This capacity develops and changes slowly and is not subject to huge spikes and disruptions like other speculative tokens. Ultimately, this makes Holofuel a hosting utility token and there are already several competitors that are well advanced in development. Projects such as Sia, Storage and Filecoin are reward users for sharing their processing power, hard drive space or bandwidth. Thank you a lot for staying with us. Stay tuned for more videos.